We're getting a look at the fall colors in Swamico this morning. Angela Kelly now joins us live from the Barkhausen Waterfall Preserve with more. Good morning, Ange. Good morning. It is so absolutely beautiful out here. Uh, the temperature, a nice crisp morning, and of course the fall colors are really starting to show here at Barkhausen. This is Matt Creasy, the park supervisor here. Good morning to you, Matt. Good morning, Angela. So when people come out to Barkhausen uh, now or in the next couple of days, what, what will they be seeing? Well, it's a great time of year. We have our trails that uh, people can come out and enjoy the, the yellows from our birch trees and the goldens from the cottonwoods and popple trees. And also some of the yellow or the reds are starting to show through in the maples and oaks and things. This is an absolutely gorgeous look. What area of the park are we in right now? We are at Otter Pond, um, just off of our trailhead, so about 100 yards from our parking lot. So very accessible for anybody that would want to come out and enjoy this. I know we all learned this in school, but if you could just bring us through a little mini lesson of why the leaves change this time of year and how that process works. Sure. All summer, the leaves were really a factory for that tree. They were photosynthesizing and creating the food for our trees. And at this time of year, that chlorophyll, the green color that was in the leaves, is starting to fade out. So the colors that we see at this time of year, the yellows, the reds, were really always in that tree, but they were drowned out by the chlorophyll. And at this time of year, the chlorophyll's gone. We're starting to see the keratins, the yellows, the oranges, and that anthocyanin, um, the reds from the maples and oaks that's shining through at this time of year. What are some other areas in Brown County where we can see great colors right now? Uh, you could also enjoy the Fox River Trail for biking or hiking. Uh, it's a great trail with a great canopy. You'll see a lot of the golden yellows, the vibrant reds out there. Mountain Bay Trail, a very natural area. Um, lots of colors along that trail. Uh, also, Neshota Park, uh, Bayshore County Park, Pamperin Park, Reforestation Camp. A lot of great trails to get out and explore and see these colors. Absolutely. So what are the fall colors like across the entire state. Well, there is a fall um, color report, and we are going to go to Doug right now outside on the weather deck. Hi, Doug. Hi there, Angela. Not bad time to be outside, huh? It's gorgeous. Yeah, enjoying some fall colors out there, and our fall color map really shows that uh, we're really starting to blossom into some really good colors out there. Uh, the two places I'd like to highlight would be Minocqua and Eagle River, 76 to 100 percent of color. Uh, you can see all the reds on the map. You're right at peak and not far away from Green Bay and the Fox Cities, uh, just into Shawano and Ocano counties. You're at 51 to 76 percent of peak. So the colors are really starting to break out just to the north of Green Bay. It looks like Green Bay and the Fox Cities. We're going to take our time. It's going to be another week or two before we kind of hit peak here. Uh, locally, we've had some great uh, weather photographs showing the fall colors across Wisconsin. All you have to do is go to fox11online.com, hover over the weather tab, and go to photo galleries. You can upload your new photos. It's real easy to do. We actually have a new service to do it. Very important, though, give us the location of where the photograph is. Have these two great photographs? Don't have locations with them. So just encourage people, hey, get out there and uh, take a few photographs of them. Nature here in Wisconsin.